Hello, welcome to day two of health science. Um, hopefully you guys were able to watch the welcome video from last week, answered any questions. If you weren't able to jump on and get on our Google Meet call, I want to see you this week, okay? I do Google Meet calls for our health science on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 145, 145 to 215. So please jump on on Tuesday this week so I can see your face, put a face to the name. Um, and then if you, you don't have to have your face on the whole time, you can just click on so that um, you're just listening to the conversation. Or if we don't have anything really important, once we've talked about things, if you don't have any questions or anything, um, you can leave the conversation. I just need to know that you've been on and at least once a week are checking in and saying you have no questions, no problems, everything's working fine on your end, okay? A um, few quick things. Um, watch that welcome video if you haven't. Turn in your three signed parent forms, and that is your health science disclosure, your um, sex ed form, and the lab safety uh, documents. So if you can get those signed by your parents and then um, go just take a picture of them and email me to that, email those to me. They'll, that's the easiest way. And then I'll get those 15 points for each end. So that's 45 quick points. You guys are starting with um, 100% if you get those in. So um, get those in this week, please. If you need actual copies, physical copies of any of our notes or any of those three documents, um, I'll put them together and I'll put them down at the front desk. I already have everything copied and printed off for this first unit. So I can put it all in one, um, you know, like one packet and um, put it at the front desk for you and you can pick it up there anytime or anybody can come in and pick it up. Or if you know a friend who's, who's actually coming to school, they can pick it up and bring it to you, okay? Um, and then also uh, this just reiterating, I've got to see you on a Google Meet at least once a week. And if you don't feel comfortable in the group setting like that, just email me and we'll arrange a time where we can just meet one on one um, in Google Meet so that I, I know you're taken care of. OK, so this only works if, if you do your contact on your side to, to check in with me. OK, um, I'll try to check in with you. But you guys, this is this is you guys are at home. You have to be proactive. You got to be on top of this for yourself. OK, don't get too far behind either. So. Um, part of that too of checking in is for you to be able to say I'm all good I have no questions okay so I know I don't have to worry about you because um, I do I worry about you guys and I, I want to make sure that you're getting what you need out of this um, this first uh, PowerPoint that we're just going to do today is we're going to talk about anatomical position and um, you can print off the sheet that's attached on this module just before it looks like this okay it has a little body there okay so this is the form that you'll be filling in as we kind of go through and talk about anatomical position um, I'm gonna try this this is let's see um, let's see why is it not switching to the next hmm there we go okay I haven't ever tried this yet to hit to try to play a video inside a uh, PowerPoint so we're gonna try to hit this and let's see what happens okay Mm, we're going to do this. I wonder if I can do this. If I highlight this, I'm going to go to and we're going to go to YouTube and guess what? It's not showing. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to send you that link separately. We're going to, have to figure that out. Okay. So I'll send you that link separately and you can watch that afterwards. So um, it's just an introduction to the anat anatomical positions and directional terms, but it's no problem that you watch it afterwards. Don't worry about that. Okay. So, oh, guess what? I just realized too. I am not in open. So full screen. There we go. Okay. Anatomical position. What is it? So anatomical position is the universal accepted starting point used to describe or analyze anatomical terms or movement, okay? So pretty much it's the way just to say, it's how we picture a human body as we try to talk about things related to it. So the head is higher than your feet, okay? And so there's different words to use for different, um, the different terms. So higher in this case would be superior. The head is superior to the feet. And so we always have an anatomical position the same way. Okay. 
So these three things that the body must meet in order to be in this anatomical position is standing straight up, standing position, your face and feet are pointing forward. So face forward, not turned around. And then the feet are straight ahead. They're not turned off to the side. And then your arms are off to your side and the palms are placing forward. So I'm gonna stand up here and show you. Okay, so standing up, face forward, feet forward, hands to the side with the palms out in, okay, the palms are out in front and my thumbs, so my thumbs are on the top, okay? That is called anatomical position. The three criteria there. Okay, so I want you to do this. Stand up, face towards your computer, stand straight, put your hands out to your side and turn those palms forward. And so your thumbs are kind of like pointing up to the sky, okay? That is it, anatomical position. Okay, we have different planes where we can cut the body and we say what plane we're looking at. So um, if you do a, a front straight down the middle, um, that is called a sagittal. And how I remember this is sides. It cuts you in sides, right side and left side, sagittal. So remember the S is for sides. Frontal is where you've got the plane that cuts down um, the, the, the center of your body this way to the side and it cuts you in front and back. So I just remember that frontal, front and back, okay? That's that plane. And then a transverse plane cuts you in half, um, top and bottom, okay? And how I remember that, the T, transverse, top and bottom. And so this transverse plane can, can be anywhere. It could be up here or it can be down lower by your, your legs or whatever. It still cuts you into a top and a bottom. So these um, relate to positions in space and found at right angles to each other. These planes can be positioned on specific parts of the body. Okay, so a sagittal plane doesn't always have to be straight down the middle. So the sagittal cut just means it's cutting you in to different sides. Mid sagittal is a middle side to side plane. Okay, but a sagittal, you can move that line this way and have a sagittal cut going straight down your shoulder. Okay, so it doesn't always have to be straight in the middle. Um, the same as frontal. Frontal could be mean, means it could be moved up forward. So you're getting a frontal, a frontal cut of, say, just your nose. You can cut straight down the nose. That would still be a frontal cut because you're doing front and back. You just have more head in your back of that cut. And then the same for the transverse, top and bottom. Remember, you could have that cut either higher or lower. Um, so another word for frontal that you, that you might see in medical is called coronal. Um, when we talk about it in our class, we'll call frontal, but that is also called coronal, okay? So that way, um, vertically splits the body into front and back. Then we've got the sagittal, vertically splits the body into left and right halves or sides. And then the transverse, horizontally splits your body into upper and lower halves. Okay, body position terminology. There are certain words that you use to talk about um, a certain organ um, or thing on the body compared to another organ or part of the body, okay? So um, the following terms will become like a second language for you. These terms are used to describe positions of the body and will be used a lot extensively when we talk about muscles and bones, okay? So medial means towards the midline or center of the body. So if you consider straight down the center, that is medial or towards the middle, okay? Lateral means away from the midline of, of, of the body. Lateral is going out, okay? Um, superficial is on the, um, on the, on or close to the surface of the body, whereas deep, is further away from the surface of the body. Okay, so you should be filling in those notes. That is your notes on page one. Um, superficial deep, oh, superior. On that same one, superior is towards the top of the body. This is also called cranial, okay? Cranial um, is often referred to as the head. You've got the cranium, we'll learn that later. 
inferior is towards the bottom part of your body, bottom part, and they sometimes do call that caudal. So um, like the, the, your tail end is called the caudal, okay? Um, and then we've got anterior, which is towards the front of your body. That's or called ventral, all these double words. Um, and then posterior is towards the back of the body or dorsal. And that one you can think of um, anterior. Think of this anterior. If you look straight down, you're, you see an ants at your feet. You can see them straight in front of you. That's in front of you. So ant, the ants are in front of you. You can see them um, anterior. Posterior in your back. Think of a dorsal fin, right, on a... On a um, dolphin, right, or, or fish. So that is on their back. So the, post, the posterior is towards the back. Then you have the words proximal, which is situate, situated closest to the point of attachment. So say I have my arm, right? Um, it is attached here to the main part of my body, the core of my body. So my shoulder is proximal closer to the core of my body than my hand is. My hand is further away, so my hand is distal compared to my shoulder, okay? When you're using these terms, it's always in relation to another body part, okay? So um, you must have two reference points. Um, I'll show that video also on for you. Okay, so that's it. So let me, let me go through a few with you real quick. Um, and then I'll definitely put those um, those videos, okay, after this, on that same module, you can go back and then click on the videos to see those, okay, they'll be separate. So let's talk about medial first. Medial, your nose is medial toward the midline compared to your eyes, okay? So your nose are more in the middle medial than, than your eyes. Now, if we flip, flip that, your eyes are lateral compared to, remember the second body reference, that's compared to your nose, okay? Um, same thing, think of yourself in anatomical position, thumbs up, palm forward, okay? So let's do a, um, a medial. Your hand, um, we're gonna do lateral. Your hand is lateral compared to your hips, right? Because your hips are closer to the midline. If we switch that around, your hips would be medial compared to your hands, okay? Uh, let's do a superficial. Superficial, your, um, your skin is superficial compared to your bones, right? Because your bones are deeper inside um, from, the out, from the outside of the skin, okay? And then again, you could flip that and say your bones are deep compared to your skin. Um, superior, your, um, let's see, your heart is superior compared to your stomach, okay? Your knees are inferior compared to your hips. And then the last um, last two here, so anterior and posterior. Anterior, your, um, your mouth is anterior compared to your, um, um, your pharynx, okay? Mouth is further in front, pharynx in the back. Um, posterior, your um, trap, um, trapezium, the muscle on your back, is posterior. It's behind your um, pectoralis major, um, majors, okay? So, yep, the back muscles then are posterior, behind, okay? Proximal and distal. I showed you one earlier, but again, if you think of putting your, um, putting your hands out, the point of closest attachment. Let's do one on the leg. Your ankle. Think about, is your ankle going to be proximal or distal compared to your knee? Hopefully you said distal, because the ankle is more further away from the point of attachment to your core than your knee is. So your ankle is distal compared to your knee. But your knee 
is proximal compared to your ankle. Okay. Okay. We're good. You're going to have a worksheet on that also that you can fill out. And then remember on your worksheets and assignments, if you don't get it right the first time, you can redo them and you can get full points on assignments and things, things um, at home that way. Okay. So do your best on the worksheet. Um, watch those videos first, because again, it's, it's great to see my slides and to hear me kind of explain it. And then you're actually writing your notes as we go, but then it's fantastic to be able to see it in other um, like 3D version in a computer format um, where you can watch these videos and see it again and hear it in a different way. Okay. So um, get these, get these learned, do your worksheet. And um, as soon as you can, let's see if you can't get that worksheet uh, maybe done by the next time we Google meet on Thursday so that if there's any questions, we can go over it. If you watch this on Monday, come, come to Google meet on, on Tuesday with questions if you've got them. Okay. Um, Sounds good. That's great. Let's hope that was our first one. Woo! Second one I've ever done. I did one for zoology. So um, this will get fun. It'll, it'll, I'll, it'll, it'll be, I'll be more interactive. I'll, we'll, we get to have more fun with this too as we go and I get more familiar with how things work. I'll also try to make sure I can get those videos embedded so we can watch them um, if we can. I really hope that this um, program will let us do that. Okay. You guys are awesome. Can't wait to get to know you. We're going to have some fun and we're off to day three after this. Love you. Bye.